fire. Burned the wood all the way to the white ashes. I put the white ashes in some water. It's still up here. That wood ash has a lie. It has lie to it. When you add the ash to the water, it makes a lie solution. That's how traditionally it was done for tanning deer hides, for taking the hair off of the deer hides, for slipping the hair, as they call it. Got the deer skins and hair. They have rocks on them to keep them down, to help them further be in a solution. And you generally keep them here for a day or two, maybe even four days. And then you take the hide out. You put it on a flushing beam, a flushing board, you know. You can buy one or you can make one. Take a, um, a log, stick it in the ground, make a hole, stick it in the ground, cover it up, and have it out the earth at in an angle. Slant it, not straight up, but slant it. And then you put the skin on there. You take a fleshy knife, or you can use a shell, you can use a stone, even wood or bone. And you take that hair off, or you can pull it off, because it'll be easy. Then, you also have to scrape the membrane off of it. You scrape, you scrape all that meat off of it, that fat that may be on it, that membrane. You do it on both sides. And then, you take it out. Then you can brain tan it, get you um, a brain or even an egg yolk. You don't have to use brain, but you can take the brain of a deer or any animal and that one brain will be enough for a hide. And then you take that brain and you mash it up, mush it up into warm water and make a solution and you put that paste onto the hide, on both sides of the hide. If you're not using a light solution, and you keeping the hair on one side, then you just do it on that side. Don't do it on the hair. So you do it on both sides. And then you take in a skin and you put it over a piece of wood. You know, and you fold in that hide, and make it to like a donut shape or a ring shape. And then you take uh, another stick and you put it in through that loop, that hole of that donut shape skin. And you twist that skin either clockwise or counterclockwise. And what you're essentially doing is wringing the hide, getting all the, the, the moisture out. And then you repeat it and put that brain tan solution back on. And you, what are you doing is making that, um, you're working that brain tan solution into the hide. That's what you're doing. And then after that, you can go ahead and work it. You need to put like a, a post in the ground, similar to this, put them in the ground, bury it. And you work in the hide over the wood to break it, the membranes up, break the fibers, make it more pliable, <laughs> create a blessing and workable, more loose and softened, not too, tight and then after you do that you sew the skin up like a pillowcase and then you make a fire you make the fire for you make the fire for smoking the hide that changes the color of it and also waterproofs it make it water resistant rot resistant bug resistant that's what you're doing, essentially. You can smoke a hide. The longer you smoke it, the darker it becomes. You can also use uh, walnuts to tan the hide. Not necessarily tan the hide, but change the color of it. As a dye solution, you put the walnuts in a tub of water, some water or a fire, and let that that con make a concentrate solution. Dub dye from the walnut holes. And you put the, the hide in there and let it sit in there for a day or two. And you take it out and you go about processing the hide. This here is a, a scaffold beam.
I made. This is for one hive. That's for another hive. And that's for a third hive. And you use that for stretching the hives out. So before you um, smoke the hive, you can put the hive on this and you stretch it out. You lace it. I'll lace it with that rope. You put holes all around the side and you take that rope and you rope, you put the rope through the holes and you stretch that skin out. All about the frame, the wooden frame, stretching it out. And then what you can do is just further scrape it. You know, not with something too sharp and not with something too dull in between. You don't want to tear a hole in your hide, you know, scrape it too hard. You want to get that membrane off. And you also put that brain tan solution on there on both sides and make it easier instead of just laying on the ground where it can move and whatnot. Or you can take a wood, like a wood plank, a square wood plank. You've probably seen one before. Get it from the Home Depot or Lowe's or a hardware store. And you can nail the skin down. You can nail, you can tack the skin down, or you can even um, staple the skin down with a staple gun. And that is how you make a buckskin for making um, making leather materials like moccasins, you know, pants and whatnot, a coat, a jacket. And that's how it was done traditionally. And that's how my ancestors did it. I am Muskogogogi, Muskogi Creek, Seminole, Apache, and Maya. And we use that brain tan method here for eons, long before this land was be called, became America. We called this land Turtle Island. So that's how you go about brain tanning a hide, essentially. I'll make more videos and walk through my progress of each step of tanning a hide. Thank you. Like and subscribe if you want.